Okay, so in part three, we will learn few more concepts of certificates and then the process of SSL configuration, how we configure the SSL, SSL in WebLogic uh, server. So let us do a quick recap. In part one and part two, we have covered about the different kind of keys, key store and the certificates. So key, we have a two kind of a key, public and private key, which is used for the encryption and decryption of data where it is traveling on the public network or you can say on the internet. So public key is on the browser side and private key on the server side for the encryption and decryption. And for trust and identity, you have to get certain kind of a certificates from some third party C authorities, which you can configure with your WebLogic server. So let us discuss a few more on certificates. So when we talk about the certificates, then we have two kind of a certificate. One is CA certificate and second is self-signed certificate. Okay, so in part one and two, we have covered about the different other kind of certificates as well. Those are server specific or specifically required for identity and trust. Okay, and we had discussed about that. We have to purchase certain kind of certificates from the third party certificate authorities for the configurations of your applications. Okay, so those kind of certificates where you have to do a certain kind of investment and you are going for any website which, which will be accessible over the public network. So for that, like suppose for your production environments, you have to purchase CA certificates from the authorities. Okay, but when we talk about the internal network or or for the development testing kind of environment, okay, there you don't need to purchase any kind of a certificate from the external authorities. Okay, and there you can uh, use your own certificates, which is specifically required for the testing purpose. So it is exactly same as a CA certificate. That means it it will give you the same kind of functionalities, but only difference is that it is not authorized by any CA authorities it is signed by you and you are using your own self-signed certificate so that is specifically required for certain kind of a testings okay and the difference between both when you uh, if you go for uh, in production with the self-signed certificate then whenever you try to access your website okay you will get a security prompt okay that this site is not secured because you are using your self-signed certificate Okay, so CA certificate is created, signed and issued by a third party called a certificate authority that is authorized to validate the identity of the applicant. So some of the CA authorities are like we have must have heard about DigiCert, VeriSign, Komodo and GlobalSign, etc. There are a lot of certificate authorities out there, uh, root certificate authorities and intermediate certificate authorities. Okay, and so whenever you are planning for a secure website for your production environment or for your website, okay, and which will be accessible over the public network. So for that, you have to buy a certificate from the certificate authority for the production environment so that your end users will get a trust on your website. And when we talk about self and certificate, so it is a digital certificate that's not signed by a public trusted certificate authority. It is created, issued and signed by the company or developer who is responsible for the website or software associated with the certificate, right? So what exactly we do in development phase is that we, we, we develop the websites and then we do a certain kind of a testings in our development environment, testing environment, pre-productions, and then finally the application goes live in the production. So till the application is in development phase or in testing environment in UAT or in your pre-production environment. So there you can configure the website with the self-signed certificate for the testing purpose. So when your testing is completed and you are sure that your website is good to go for the production, then you buy the certificate and then configure your application or your website with the CA certificates when it is ready for the production deployment. Okay, the so self-signed certificates are suitable for internal, you can say about the internet site and its sites used in the testing environment. So the normal sequence of events to generate a key store and configure web logic is as follows. So what it is mean is that when you are going for a practical configurations of your SSL for web logic, okay, what are the sequential steps for that one? The first one is you have to create or generate a key store. Okay, so key store is a place where you will have your private key and there you have to import all of your certificates, whatever the certificates you will get from the CA certificate authorities, or maybe you are generating your self and certificate, everything is need to be imported in your key store. Okay, so key store is a repository for your private key and as well as for your uh, <clears throat> certificates as well. Okay, and apart from that, it contains your private key as well. Okay, which is issued by the certificate authorities. 
So if configuring with CA certificates, okay, if you are going to configure your website, production website with CA certificates, okay, so what is the sequence is that for that we have to generate a certificate signing request. So that means once you have created your key store, after that you have to generate a certificate signing request, which is called short form called as a CSR. Okay, this CSR you have to send to certificate authority and this CSR contain your address of the website and your or address of your organization. Okay, so that it is validated by the certificate authority before they are releasing the certificates. Okay, so the CA generates and signed a certificate from the CSR and send back to you. So once you will send all this detail in CSR to certificate authority, so they will generate the root certificate, intermediate certificate and server certificate and they will send it back to you so that you can import it in your key store okay so with along with the server certificate okay you get your public key as well okay so once if you are configuring with your self signed certificate that means for testing and your development environments okay so that means you don't need to generate any kind of a csr because you are not going to get any certificate from the c authority so you have to generate a self signed certificate there is a command for that one okay so now once your key store is generated and after that, you have received your CA certificates, or if it is testing environment, that means after that, you have generated your self signed certificate. Okay, in both cases, hash to and hash to, you have to import certificate into your key store, right? And then, last step, you have to configure the web logic. Okay, so by default, web logic is configured with demo identity and trust. Okay, so we had a lot of discussion on in, in part one and two as well, but exactly is demo identity and trust. Okay, so the, so the certificates that we get uh, from the certificate authorities or even we generate a self-signed certificate, we, we have to import them in your key store, right? So once it is imported in your key store, that key store will act as a demo, not demo, but it will act as an identity and trust key store. Okay, whether it is a demo or whether it is a, uh, a custom. Okay, so default is your web logic is configured with demo identity and trust. That means if you are enabling the SSL in web logic, which come default with the web logic, that is a demo identity and certificate. Okay. So once you are going to configure your web logic with CA certificate or with maybe you are with self and certificate, okay, you have to change that demo identity and trust with the custom identity and trust because you are customizing your environment you are customizing with the ca certificate or maybe you are customizing with the self signed certificate so you have to configure web logic with the custom identity and trust okay and the important term with the server certificate is that server certificate digitally signed by the ca and contain your public key which sent to the browser when you access it your website so what we have discussed so far is that uh, SSL is all about encryption and decryption and SSL uh, and this encryption and decryption happen at the browser side as well as the server side. So the server side, we have the uh, server certificate, right? Where we have a private key, right? And that means uh, you have a private key on your server side, which does the encryption and decryption. And when we talk about the browser, right? So when you access any secure website, okay, your server send a certificate to your browser along with the public key, right? And that public key is used at the browser side for the encryption and decryption. So now in WebLogic server, okay, uh, if you wanted to see the demo uh, identity and trust location, certificate locations, key store locations, or where exactly it is configured, okay, then you can go to your admin server. You, you can start your admin server and go to your admin console, okay, and then log into your console and then uh, click on environment and then click on your any of your server, either manage servers or admin server. Okay, and then after that, you click on the configuration and key stores. And there you can see that key stores configured as demo identity and demo trust. Okay, and then you can see the location of your identity and trust key stores. There are two different locations one is for identity, and second is for trust. So that means you are uh, the certificate that you have received from the authority, or maybe the certificate that you have signed by self, okay, that you have imported in two different key stores. One is in the identity where you have imported your server certificate and second is your demo trust uh, where you have imported your root and then intermediate certificates. So here you have a two default key stores in WebLogic. Okay. And then the Java trust key store, the default uh, trusted key store that comes with the Java. And this is the location of that is uh, Java home, GRE lib security and CS cert. So CS cert is the default trusted uh, certificate file that comes with the Java. Okay. So the default identity and trust key store that comes with the WebLogic server is demo identity.jks. And the location of that is domain. Inside your domain, there is a folder called security. Inside that, there's a file called demo identity and.jks. 
And when we talk about the default trust key, so that comes with the Java is your Java home. That means where you have installed your Java. Inside that, you will have a folder called JRE and then inside that lib security and then inside you can see the CA sets. Okay. So when we configure your web logic with, with your uh, CA certificates or maybe with, this, uh, with the self and certificate. So in that case, you have to change your key store from your demo to custom identity and custom trust. And then you have to define the key store location there, where, wherever you have imported your uh, certificates. Okay, so you have same or different key store for identity and trust. So here you can see that there are two different certificate key stores are used, uh, uh, demo identity.jks and then demo trust.jks. Two uh, different key stores are used for identity and trust, but if you want, then you can have a single key store, which you can use instead of two. So that means all of the certificates you can import in a single key store instead of, instead of a two different key stores. And then you can provide the same key store location for both identity and then trust key store. So this is all about uh, the SSL. And then fourth video, we will see a demo of how we can configure the SSL uh, in, in, in WebLogic server. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much.